Hi friends, this is Jarvis. Welcome back to the Guitar Spa where we bring you all the beautiful guitars reviewed just for you. And right now, one more special, 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 special guitar that just came in and the owner sent it in. And uh, this is actually a new guitar. This is actually a Yamaha LS series, the LL series or the L series. And this is a LS16, actually a small body 16 series. Uh, uh, let's dive into it. I've already done the LL16. I've done the, which is actually a modified dreadnought, a LJ, which is a small jumbo 16. And right now we have the smaller series uh, that just came in as the LS series. The L series is more like a, a finger style uh, OM size, which gives you a little bit more of that focus tone if you're a finger style player like Stromer. This is the guitar for you, which not many younger people uh, normally gravitate towards because uh, most young people, uh, very young people, they want volume, they want uh, instead of tone. But if you want clarity, you want nice balanced tone and you want something that is sweet, then the smaller size uh, LS series, this is the one you should target and arrow and focus on. This one has a little bit more focus than the other two guitars that I've, I've reviewed. So let's get started. The L series is a, is a full solid uh, top, back and sides. The top uh, features a Canadian Engelmann screws. Engelmann screws, uh, they, they, they sound like the, the good old German screws. Clarity in terms of the top, top end, a nice rounded base and a very sweet mid. And when it ages, it, it gives, you can actually like strum it from medium to not very, uh, what you call it, heavy, heavy for heavy strumments, but they, they are really sweet, something that's, some, that's the characteristics of the Engelman. And uh, they have slightly more mature tone, like it is, it, the guitar has been aged. So that's the Engelman for you. You have the uh, Engelman top, the beautiful Engelman top. You have the back and sides are uh, Indian Rosewood. The Indian Rosewood are a bit slightly wider grain, wider grain uh, Indian Rosewood. Just have a look at this Indian Rosewood. And you have the plastic. Uh, uh, plastic bindings, a yellowish plastic bindings on this guitar. You have the stripe uh, ebony, uh, uh, what I call that, uh, Makasa ebony bridge, doesn't look like rosewood to me, uh, on the bridge as well as the, the fretboard and the fretboard is bound with the white plastic. And also there, there are fretboard markers with the outer lining, you know, outer lining of a 4mm. And you have a hip plate that with a Yamaha uh, logo that here. Okay, the the name here with the uh, Indian rosewood hip plate. The neck is a three piece uh, neck which you have ma mahogany as well as the rosewood in the middle. Three piece neck, three piece neck. This this neck reinforces the strength rigidity of the neck. So that's why you find that most uh, Yamaha that the necks are a little bit more stiffer and a stiffness actually contributes to that sustain that you get from uh, Yamaha guitars, especially the LS series, okay? And uh, it's dovetail. The, the neck block, the neck block that's inside here is actually a C neck block. The C neck block, what it does is it, it reinforces the uh, fretboard extension uh, to pre prevent it from collapse, collapsing due to the string 200 pounds. Uh, uh, and also the right here, the C profile here also, uh, what you call it, transfer the energy from the top as well as the back, okay? So you have the, the, the everything that comes in movement, uh, in, in synergy together. The uh, bracing basically is the, the X brace, parabolic bracing on this guitar. And it's the, the left and right is, is similar and uh, it's scalloped. But one thing about the, uh, one thing about this uh, L series is that the, if you put your hand underneath the screws, it's really rough. Uh, in fact, I think somebody should just at least smoothen this, the uh, and um, that's just me. That's just me. Okay, the these are all made in China, uh, and handcrafted in China, and they have really a high QC standards. The neck peach, the way it's neck peach. Okay, the the uh, saddle and nut is uh, plastic, really soft plastic, and I've upgraded this uh, saddle to a unbleached bone saddle because the owner wanted a little bit more transparent, a little bit more brighter tone to come out of this because he, he, he prefers that brighter tone. He doesn't want that H tone that, that comes with FMI. But then, well, I accommodate the players in whatever sense I can, and I've lowered the action, the, I've straightened the neck, 
and um, pretty nice. You have the abalone rosette on this guitar, and oh, a nice black plastic, uh, what you call, um, plastic, a tin plastic um, pick gun on this. In fact, I feel that if you you were to just take lighter fluid, just take this out, it looks better without the the uh, pick gun on this guitar. And uh, I played several of this uh, L LL series. Uh, Yamaha and they do age well if you get 1k. Let's listen to how it sounds and uh, Lots of punch on this guitar Let's, let's try and just move this out a bit Quarter neck with very nice uh, C uh, C profile on this this uh, neck. Rings, does it? Excellent sustain on this guitar. This is only a new guitar and it really sounds really uh, lovely, lovely, bright, uh, crispy tone. Crispy, I use the word crispy. Yes, crispy, like fried chicken. Crispy. Let's uh, couple this baby on the third fret and listen.
That's a little bit of finger picking. show that you actually can actually just uh, increase your attack on your right hand finger technique to allow a little bit more of that punchiness to just come out from this box this box of this, this guitar even though it's a small piece but I call this it's a mighty mouse you know so there you have it the Yamaha LS16 uh, a small body uh, very much like a OM size uh, or triple O size you get a standard scale length, one three quarter neck, a three piece uh, laminated neck, which strengthens and gives you that sustain and on the neck. The uh, Canadian uh, Angleman spruce stock, which is beautiful, it gives you that smooth, very smooth travels, a lovely rounded base, and a very nice mid that is not found on the Sitka top or Android neck spruce. The, the excuse me, the. Uh, Indian rosewood, slightly wider grain Indian rosewood, not really that high grade, but uh, it doesn't mean it's just grading, but uh, fairly responsive uh, uh, rosewood that is uh, it's tried and tested. Okay, most uh, combinations, whether it's Sitka spruce on a rosewood back or Angerman spruce on Anderon, that it works, it works like magic. Okay, and you have the uh, rosette uh, that is Avalon rosette, a nice pick guard. Ebony bridge, ebony fretboard, and the X brace, uh, which is forward shift, and a symmetrical, uh, what we call that, parabolic bracing. That is, uh, in terms of the left and right, is really balanced up. You get a very nice sweet tone. So uh, if you like this review, what you can do is uh, 
post a comment just below this and if you want to watch more upcoming good reviews something is unbiased you get to hear different styles being played on the guitar and a little bit more descriptive on um, on on how I describe the, the the whole guitar. I suggest you do one thing right now is to click this button, subscribe, and you be you won't be missing even a single uh, one of these reviews. I'm gonna sign up soon. My name is Jarvis. I'm based in Singapore, a nice country, tropical country in in Asia, and uh, I'm not from China either. So uh, I'm gonna say live with passion, play guitar loud, love, joy, peace health then wealth to be multiplied in your life okay focus on what you want uh, in case what guitar do you, you you say I should buy always buy the one that you like it's like choosing a girl for a dance you choose the one that you like to dance with the one that you want to spend your your time and and most of the time with that's the guitar you should choose just like choosing a girl okay so I'll see you very soon bye bye